Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channels Tapaura Zoo and Super Academico. And today, in our special English video, the mid of the week, I'm going to talk about some some aspects of the the Disney Plus show uh, Andor from the Star Wars universe. For those who doesn't know haven't watched or doesn't like that uh here i'm not i'm not giving spoilers or something like that and my comments are more like uh, about the, the 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 aspect of the the prison uh, which i will relate with the the theory of the panopticon from the uh from both authors uh, from michel foucault uh, the, the French philosopher and Jeremy Bentham, the the English uh, economist. The, the Jeremy Bentham creates the concept of panopticon, and Michel Foucault uses this the concept of panopticon to explain a prison where the prisoners watch themselves, watch from inside. Uh, I will explain. I will show some pictures along the the, the the video with images from the the TV the, the show the Disney Pro show the streaming show Andor and I'll explain to you uh, the the relation that I found in the the, the, the story of the the the, the show no, the, the film Andor and this concept of panopticon So uh, before anything, please subscribe to the channels and give your like and comments and share the video. Okay, so let's go. Uh, first of all, uh, when Michel Foucault studied the concept of panopticon eh, in the in his book uh, Watch and Punish, Watch and Punish. He, he took the idea from Jeremy Benton to say that uh, when you arrange the system of, system of power, the power system in a prison which can, uh, can, can, be, uh, can, can be spent to other environments of power like uh, the military or schools or uh, factories but the prison is the model to uh, to develop this kind of, uh, of power use so uh, when you have a prison where there is uh, a way which the prisoners feel they are watched but actually they don't know if they are watched uh, it's like when you have a, a camera pointed to you but uh, you don't know for certain if the camera is working if someone is watching someone is uh, watching what you do so you behave as expected with honesty for example uh, in, in a situation where you could not be honest like uh, you enter a store there is no no vendor uh, no one to attend to to serve you so uh, you could rob the place but when you see the camera you think now oh, i've been i'm i'm being watched so i will behave uh, this is idea uh, is developed in a way that in a prison where the prisoners uh, feel they are watched all the time even though they don't know if they are really watched you can have uh, uh, enforcement of the security of the prison without the need of many gua guards or violence so that's the, the whole idea the, the idea of panopticon uh, it means that's a tower where there is a, a watch uh, a, a way of watch all the cells and all the cells 
uh, are watched or, or, or seems to be watched by this tower but the prisoners don't know don't see uh, who or if there is someone watching from the tower uh, it's like a, I don't know maybe a, a, a mirror uh, a, a glass with a mirror uh, you, you can see yourself you may or may not be watched in the other side but you don't know so you tense uh, you go in a way that your behavior will be controlled by your own belief that you are watched so in the the, the series uh, Andor or the, the main character Cassie Andor he goes to prison and uh, in the, the middle of the show in the, I think seven and uh, the seventh or eighth episode episode and in this prison uh, called uh, Narkina 5 or Narkina 5 is the, the planet I don't know but he goes to this prison where all the prisoners they they mostly don't see the guards the guards are very far away but they they feel watched all the time so in this episode called uh, nobody's listening no one is listening I, I don't know K Cassian he, he speaks up to the the manager of the floor uh, which is another prisoner <coughs> that uh, the, this manager né, his name is Kino Loy played by in the circus brilliantly and uh, this the, the manager Kino says to him shut up stop talking about this escape whatever and Cassia says do you think anyone is listening do you think anyone care about us here they don't care they are not listening no one is listening and he was was right the, the 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 technology the machines all over the place and no one was really listening they could plan it as they end up doing it uh, the, the escape plan when they discover they will never be able to get out of the prison the the, the sentence are manipulated changed and the time is extended uh, arbitrarily so they 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 feel that they are being watched because they can be fried at any moment and the the prison the system the security system of the prison basically is uh the floor uh, gets electrified uh any moment in any moment and everybody has to walk around uh, barefoot so uh, when they do something wrong or the the lack of results in the the work now the, 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 the uh, slave the slave labor they are doing and they the lack of production or anything the the, the prison uh, controllers they just activate the, the floor the, some parts of the floor or all the floor whatever they have the technology to control that and so the the prisoner gets a, a letter shock uh, they, they call it fried they get fried in many levels uh, one two three four i think four levels and so they are disciplined in that way and at some point they realize uh, that they are not getting out because the empire needs the labor to construct something that they they even don't know what that is is a highest level aliena of alienation of the labor so uh, when they they are talking about that they say uh, uh, say uh, nobody listen they don't care uh, th there's one point that he says we are cheaper cheaper than a droid and easy is replaced which is a, a question that someone can rise huh? why in a world with so much technology we 
uh, robots, né, droids, to construct things. Why use man labor? Why use uh, why use workers, especially prisoners? And he answered that the the the, the, the people, uh, the humans, are cheaper than the droids and easier to replace. Well, I think uh, uh, for those who already knew the concept of Panopticon may already understood, uh, may, already, may, may, may have already understood what I'm trying to develop here as an idea, but I, I want to be clear with you. Uh, the, the most scary thing about this idea of Panopticon and that what the, the, the show uh, presents to the audience, especially ones that sensitive to oppression, uh, to the fear of being oppressed in some way, is that we are living in a society of constant uh, watch and we really don't know if someone is watching but we are afraid all the time of being uh, watched and turned into a part, a piece of a machine which is the, the work system in, in some way uh, that everybody is a part of in the system that we live in so I think there are many layers of interpretation that you can uh, get from this this movie, né? this the series, and also from the concept that Michel Foucault used to present a way of controlling power without the need of the imposition and the force. You d you don't have to because the fear né, the, the, the power uh, so inside of, of one's mind that he just obeys blindly just because he thinks he's being watched all the time so uh, that's the video for today I hope you enjoy please comment if you agree if you don't agree you can add something né? I'm trying to get better in my English reviews, in my English explanations, so I can contribute a little more here in this community of content called Internet. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and give the like if you like of the video, and uh, ring the bell for notifications, comment, share and see you next video. Bye bye.